Hello and welcome to the Voice of Todd. It's been a little while since we've done a video. Um, I've been caught up with multiple things with the other channels. But I was just loading up. I just done a, a stream and then I thought, oh, it's still early. I'll do a, a bit of recording for Baldur's Gate 3. We're doing a Dark Urge run. And as that was loading through the, the editing software, I just loaded up YouTube. I thought, well, let's stick a video on and I can dip in and out of it while I'm, I'm editing. And this popped up. This is called A New Dawn Halo Studios from Halo. It's a minute old from when I loaded it up. As you can see, I'm 45 seconds in. I don't know what this is. How about we just watch it and, and hopefully, is this a new, are they announcing a new Halo? Because it's Halo Worlds. Uh, the Halo Championship. It's like the end of the season. It would be the perfect place to do it if you weren't doing it at a big showcase. Are they teasing something new? What's going on? I have so many questions. Let's go back to the start. Could this Matthews is take one. completely... This is Casey Wu, take one, like, Mark. After the first 45 I seconds, I, I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> well, these guys are the higher-ups. The <laughs> There's so much to do and so much fun to be had when you play Halo that... I feel like I never run out of things to do. I love intricate stories that take place across lots of different worlds, have lots of different meaningful characters. Okay, let so let's get Halo back to that. Successful at the beginning. What is the legacy oh, the of Halo? Age. What's the soul that we want to bring forward? And what's the craft of making Halo games? They stopped at reach. How do we set our studio up best to go deliver on that? They're showing the bungee we stuff. We had to make a change in order to take us into the future. When I first heard about Halo moving on Real Engine, my first thought was, this is going to be a really hard secret to keep. Moving I to think Unreal fans are going confirmed. to be excited about the future of Halo because of the possibilities that are afforded us by using Unreal. Before, we really had to split our focus in thinking about building an engine, supporting it, being yeah. really kind of a tech company and a studio at the same time. Yeah, Since it we've was made the idea. change to shift to UE, we can bring Halo forward in ways that people have never seen before while still being true to what Halo is. If you start being true to what Halo is, that's was enough. An effort show ourselves Boundary how far project. we can push things using Unreal 5. New studio art director, Chris, came to me and said, hey, I have this crazy idea. He said, hey, there's this thing called Project Foundry that I want to do. Let's make it happen. Foundry specifically is based around the same concept of the Foundry in Halo lore. It's the place where Halo rings are born. OK. Work in progress. Content rendered in Unreal 5. A it's a research project for our studio so we can prepare ourselves for the next steps of making Halo games. Oh, fucking hell. Yes, yes. This is the right move. Oh, the flood stuff. Oh. The original Halo franchise was a graphic showcase. Um, yes. It was best in class. That's yes. what Halo was when it first yes. was released, and that's what Halo needs to be again. Yes! A new dawn. So once Project Foundry had been approved, we took the entire creative team and we ideated on three locations, something old, something new, and something really alien. We had the Pacific Northwest, which is sort of traditional Halo biome. We were trying yeah. to shove as much foliage in there as humanly possible Look how to much make better it really it looks feel than like infinite. you're and on infinite a hike is no the, you know, Cascades. The Cold Lands, which was the second biome that we took on, it was more of a technical showcase where we could play with shaders, we could play That's with the stunning landscapes and terrains. Unreal affords us more opportunity than we've wow. ever had in the past. You know, on the surface, it might just look all like snow, but how many layers of things combine to really give that winter look? And then our third biome was the Blight Lands, which is- The music's great as well. Any land that's been completely taken over by the flood. I wanted to give our team the opportunity to really express an alien world, a really alien world, taking something way further than they may have actually done in previous Halo games. Wow. What's impressed me about watching the Halo it's team work in Unreal is how beautiful everything looks, how incredible the environments look. Yeah. 
I don't think we've seen anything quite like it in Unreal Engine before. Fortunately, we have a studio that's really passionate about Halo, about the look and the feel, and you know, I think there's a lot of hunger to really collaborate, to move forward together. Foundry was an initiative that touched on every part of the creative process, everything from concept art, VFX, characters, vehicles, and weapons to make the future games of Halo. Okay. Creating an asset, taking this design, it's now amazing. we can really dig into material foundations. What is it actually made of? How is it physically accurate um, to the world? Now we get to take all the, the wonderful legacy oh, that assets is the that we best have, looking energy bring them I've to seen life, and bring them to uh, today's ever. standards. We are really excited to it's not be lost not on me that it's the Mark V armor projects, and the Halo CE studio. elites. As a lifelong Halo player, I think the game's only going to get better when we get those new, unique perspectives. Honestly, and it can't get worse. People bring in their expertise and uh, passion for the Halo franchise. We are looking for new talent as the projects that we're working on kind of get further and further into their development cycles. And it is great projects. to be part of a team that's growing because you can kind of see that, that force multiplied as people come in and take on challenges and you can do more. Imagine a place where you have the commitment that this is what we want to do, Halo games, and create those experiences. And you can express your talent, your creativity, and your professional ambitions in that place. We're looking for designers, we're looking for artists, we're looking for engineers. It feels like a new beginning for the studio in a lot of ways. Okay. And I think that's pretty rare. It's a 343 and reboot. I think we arrive now at a point where officially we see the beginnings of people to start to believe in the process. There's, There's so, so much, much momentum old that we have Halo right now and focus stuff. and clarity on not Nots just what we're things. building, but why we're building and kind of this next phase of Halo. The worlds that we're building, the stories that we're going after. The potential at Halo Alpha right 9. now is huge. Alpha 9. Halo Infinite was the last remnants of how we made Halo games in the past. That was our recipe. And what we are doing right now, we're changing their recipe. It is a new dawn. Is that look at the flare? Halo Infinite was the last this is, this the is stories that we're huge. going after. What, what PS says there the is potential huge. at Halo is right now is huge. Halo Infinite was the last remnants of how we made Halo games in the past. That was our recipe. And what we are doing right now, we're changing their recipe. Okay meaningful characters the things that jumped One. out what they're showing the assets the artwork chiefs i'm sure that's the mark 5 armor we'll jump to the end and have another look uh the elites certainly were classic halo not infinite halo classic halo art style they're talking about the the history of halo and how they want to get back to the history of halo and and making it pioneering graphically gameplay wise really start to push the boundaries of what a shooter is again they haven't done that for a long time 343 has never done that made halo successful CE, two, at the three, what is the odst reach legacy of halo they don't show any of the 343 games four five and six are hidden that is not that is not a mistake that is on purpose this is to show people like me who have been you know, in and around Halo for, for 20 some years, 20, 23 years almost. Um, and the people who grew up with the 360 days when Halo was the titan of FPS, it was, it was everywhere. It was massive. 343 took on the legacy and never really delivered. This is them saying, we see the legacy. We want to deliver on it. We have... No, they're not saying we've forgotten what Halo is. But they're basically saying we need to do something different to bring Halo back to its glory. And the upshot of that is this. And what we are doing right now, we're changing their recipe. It's glorious. It is. Um, I would put money on that being the, the Mark V.
That energy sword is stunning. Absolutely stunning. The one thing that concerns me throughout all of this, we'll just look at these. The music's incredible. If you look down in the left-hand corner, it's Halo Studios. Studios, plural, meaning more than one. Fine, I get that. But they've changed the Halo logo. They better not be changing the Halo logo. Because that logo is horrible compared to the classic Halo logo. That's a tiny, tiny nitpick. That is incredible. We've seen the power of Unreal 5 with... You might not like it, but it was an amazing showcase for Unreal 5. Hellblade 2. The best looking game I've ever seen. Mind-blowingly beautiful. The weather, the environments, the facial animations, the movements, everything about it was so good. Made in Unreal. I mean, look at this. Look at this. It is just... And Halo Infinite isn't a bad looking game. But it isn't this good. And this is all just proof of concept. This is uh, work in progress content rendered in Unreal 5. So this, this is work in progress. This isn't any finished game or anything, as they've said. They're just talking about where they want to take Halo in the future. The detail, the detail on the gloves, the, the, the armor, Chief's face, the pistol that we saw. Uh, I don't know if we can jump to it the back I mean look at that it's just incredible but the thing that stands out that is the Halo CE pistol the classic Magnum everything in this even the t-shirts well not not that that's not classic well I mean this is also what they have in the office. That's infinite. I mean, this is the stuff that people have on their desks. Everything's shown off, and the majority of things that are worn... Yeah, Pierre. Good Pierre here. Finish the fight. Halo, the Master Chief Collection. Old school Halo. You know, this is, this is Halo 3. It's Master Chief Collection, but that's, that's the Bungie era. Everything that they're pointing to is the Bungie era. And that's amazingly exciting. I love that. I, I want that on loop. The pistol, Mag locks onto his leg and he has the energy sword just above it. And the flare as it goes off, that's just... <laughs> that's beautiful. And what we are doing right now, we change the Absolutely beautiful. What a way to get me excited about Halo again. Maybe it isn't the mark. Maybe, I mean, I don't know. It could be the infinite armor. Looking at it, it's the helmet that's throwing me. I don't really remember what the infinite armor looks like. Yeah, it is. It's a different helmet. It's the Mark V helmet. It's the, the grills. But this bit looks... Well, no, it has to be, because there isn't the scarring on the, the chest plate from Ender 2, Start 3. It just looks... less bulky. It looks clean, it looks beautiful. It's it's highly reminiscent of the Mark V. Is what I'll say. And I mean there's even thinking about it. I mean that 
Midwest. It's not a game. It's a research project for our studio. It's synonymous with most Halo games. If not all of them. For the next step. But the snow is very much the first Halo. Stunning. I mean, that screams the first Halo to me. Just that, that style with the snow and then the foreign attack. And oh, I'm, I'm obviously reading far too much into this. Whatever this, this showcase is, this tease is, I am clearly reading far too much into it. But I'm... <laughs> oh man, this is so cool. This is stunning. And this isn't nostalgia. This is the art style that Halo should always have had. The Bungie art style, the one that they went back to with Infinite. This is the current Halo art style. This is what they're showing you. I would love to fight on a flood world. How beautiful. Beautiful in a exceptionally grotesque way. How beautiful is this? The original Halo franchise was a graphic showcase. Um, it was best in class. That's what Halo was when it first the original Halo franchise was a graphic showcase. The original Halo franchise. So again, they're differentiating them themselves between the Bungie era and the 343 era. It was released, and that's what Halo needs to be again. That's, amazing. that's incredible. That. Look at that. Just jump back to that. Look at that. Look at the lighting, the texturing. All right, that's just a still from moving image, but it's even prettier when the camera's moving. Oh, this is incredible. <laughs> I don't know what else to say because we have nothing to go on, but I'm suddenly excited about the future of Halo. This is exactly what we needed. Completely out the blue as well. I wasn't expecting this. That shows you how off the pulse I am at the minute. Um, let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, even of just the art style and the, the little nods to the Bungie era, do you think I'm just spiralling into a, a weird black hole of conspiracy theory because that's what I want? I want them to go back to being the powerhouse that they used to be? Or... I, I don't know, just let me know what you think in the comments. This is, this is amazing. Absolutely amazing. Thank you very much for watching, whatever this has been, and I'll see you all in the next one. Mm -hmm.